We have uh, a deal that's going to be improving slowly in terms of the end of the week. Until then, we have scattered showers, thunderstorms. The heat's going to be on. It's 91 degrees, 93 LaGuardia, Newark in, and 95 degrees. Now, after the thunderstorm, we cool down just a little bit, but it's not meaningful in terms of the humidity. And I think that's what the difficulty is. Humidity at 83 percent, 64 percent up to the north. We go around the horn, it stays hot. Hazy, humid, sticky, scattered pop-up, scattered showers, and again, a pop-up, scattered thunderstorm. And uh, the reason we're mentioning this is because the air is so juiced up. And you can see, again, as you go to Floral Park, you're in Queens, North Hyde Park, you're in Queens again, and everything moving west to east at around 30 miles per hour. And the southwesterly flow aloft keeps us very sticky until about Wednesday late. We'll explain. Right now... 84 degrees, you could take it. 74 tonight, you can take that humidity high with pop up scattered showers tomorrow, especially in the afternoon. Let's benchmark it heated the day from 2 to about 5 o'clock. They're going to be rocking around the tri state area. No organized line, but they're going to be there for sure. Then the high begins to move away slowly. The scattered showers and thunderstorms diminish and then refire in the heat of the day with a frontal system line just north of the city. Now, the big switch comes at the end. End of the week when the jet stream may say meaningful move down from the north to the south and we cool down dramatically got the women's mini 10k coming up in central park and this can be saturday it's important because it's the first live event that's good and the women are going to be doing their thing and a six mile run some 10,000 women in a scattered start Wish them luck, huh? A uh, couple of scattered showers and a thunderstorm Tuesday and again on Wednesday. But look at the temps come down Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and again on Flag Day. So hang in there, everybody. Another 24 to 48 hours, and we'll break the backbone of this heat wave.